Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenfurt Tretagore. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. The ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. Reconvene the Lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Need to think about it. Don't take too long. We wouldn't want Philippa to escape. Again. You may go. Blood off me, Philippa. Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Taste your eyes, bright warriors, upon the basilisk. Think of the servants. One drop of his bedding will kill an army, horses and all. There is a basilisk, and where's its deadly gaze? Interesting basilisk you've got there. Course it's interesting. Won't see a beast like this anywhere near here. They spawn only in the wild wastes of Zeracania, from eggs laid by cockerels. Cockerel eggs, you say? Yeah, and what cocks they are. Lift their rumps like brood ends to other cocks. Eggs laid by such a cockerel must be brought to hatching by 101 venomous vipers. Then, the young basilisk pecks its way out. This basilisk is interesting, because it looks exactly like a wyvern. Young one, and he'll fed at that. You talk nonsense, sir. This is the most truest of basilisks. Right, what do I know? I'm just a witcher. All done now. If that's no basilisk, but some wyvern, what did I pay for? Give me back my coin cheat. Brave soldiers, don't push, or it'll... Whoa, watch out! Guess the cage was as fake as the basilisk.
We'll deal with the witches, and then we'll come for you, don't you worry. Eternal flame will burn away us. Having trouble? Nothing fucking but. One ploughing trouble after the other. Well, what's it to you? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Radovid sent me. No, oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Don't exactly sound delighted. Would you expect us to? We've done half the work. Now you show up and take all the glory. Word was you hadn't been able to get inside. Till yesterday, when we found this. Doesn't look like much, but it's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Good work. Saved me some time. We're thrilled. Think Philip is still inside? That we don't know. Only certain thing is she was there at some point. Certain? How's that? We've been after her since Loch Muin. Poking out her eyes weren't enough. Radovid should have gutted her there and then. As it is, she turned into an owl and fled. Flew across Kedwin and Redania, then tucked herself away here. What can I expect to find inside? Everything, anything. It's an old elven temple, the witch Isleheart turned into her hideout. Look at them. Fell into some magic trap, then monsters attacked them. Barely got out alive. Any of your men still down there? A dozen or so went in. They's all that came out. Rest are probably dead. Time I saw a Philip is still in there. Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. You'll find something. He is a witcher. Witcher or not, he'll be dead before you can say two prayers. Gotta be some mechanism that opens this door.
work now. Stay back. Not one step closer. She that before you hurt yourself. Wait, wait, wait. You, 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 you that witcher the king was supposed to send? Guessed it. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. On our way up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I made a stiffer stuff. Besides, something big set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. Think Philip is still here? Can't really know. Sure, we searched a few caverns, but hidden nooks abound. If someone wanted to hide in here, they could easily. Even if they weren't an owl. What's the big event that's supposed to happen? Uh, don't know the details. But I came across Philippa Eilhart's notes. Mentioned Ida Emian, Margarita Lowe and Teal, Francesca Finderbear, and Fringilla Vigo. As I see it, they aim to meet here. All right, let's get you out of here. Told you already, no chance. Besides, the teleport's power cell, I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. Got no choice. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal, I'll get us out of here. But the monsters? I'll defend you. What if you can't? No time to argue. Give me the crystal. Over my dead body. Have it your way. Oh, yeah. you go. Eternal fire! Stick. Right, enough! I'll give you the dumb crystal. Out of my way. Huh? Love letters. Interesting. Philip had dumped some woman for Dijkstra. Right. Now to activate it.
survived. Notes. Charred. Almost completely. Can't read a thing. Hmm. What's this? Aniseed and birch bark. Powerful disinfectant. Blood-stained surgical instruments. Philippa operated on someone here. We should have gone after him. There he is now. You're alive. Find anything? Notes, a necker nest, rats, nothing interesting. Why don't I believe you? Dunno. Your problem, I guess. Oh, you're wrong there. Grab him! Rivia, Witcher. White Wolf, they call you? You stand accused of offending religious sentiment. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. Surrender your weapons. Over my dead body. Told you we wouldn't fool him. Well, you're due a beating. It'll just be more of a challenge. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witchers? A man you humiliated before his faithful. He asked that we administer a sacrament on his behalf. Your last rites. Decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long.
Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? Spoke with Radovid. Offered me a contract. To find Philippa. The bastard. Wasn't enough that he poked her eyes out. Probably wants to torture her some more. You turned him down, of course. No. Geralt, you know what he did to her. Relax. See, I figured if I agreed, I could look for her without his men getting in my way. Fact is, I'm curious to know what happened to her. So? Learn anything? Even better. Found this. A megascope crystal. Hmm, it's damaged, but it could still work. And Francesca's equally hesitant. Neither she nor Ida wishes to decide blindly. They'll stop hesitating as soon as we convince Kira and Fringilla. Fringilla's on our side. She'll join us as soon as she's finished some business in Nilfgaard. Wonderful. That leaves Kira. The problem is, I've still no notion where she could be. Yennefer and Triss. Yennefer's never belonged to the Lodge. And Triss? Well, we shall see. I must regain my vision. I can go to Novigrad, then see Arthur de Velista. The word is, Triss is also carousing about the city. You still insist? Phil, pardon my saying so, but you will never regenerate your eyes on your own. Vilgefortz did it. I'm employing the same method, cultivating tissue on precious stones. It's mad. You will need advanced power. You'll put yourself in great danger. That's it. That's all I could recover. Hmm. Guessing Radovid would love to get his hands on this. You're not gonna give it to him, are you? Probably better if you keep it. Much better. It'll be safe with me. I'll try to cast a diagnostic spell. Maybe learn something more. Good luck. Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm, so-so. Why do you ask? When you slit Menga's throat, and then... You were fierce. Never seen that side of you. What would you have had me do? Conjure up a cloud of butterflies? Not what I mean, and you know it. I'm a little worried how it might affect you. Well, yeah. I'd probably relive it in my dreams if I wasn't already having nightmares about mages roasting on pyres. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. See you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Bagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Don't like this at all. But you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Trace. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. 
think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Yeah? Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise it. Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far. Oh, it's a war veteran. Spare me, crap. What did they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye. You're surely right, miss. I... It just weren't what I expected. Since Lady Bagelbud... Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple guards got the wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the Guardsmen. Since the Hunters paid for every Mage revealed to him. Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, and whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. How'd Ingrid Vogelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear, once the Witch Hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Taint that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Want to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vogelbud fears the help's being watched. That's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vogelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, my lady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals of blue roses from this air. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire. Knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While well, you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? 
You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Someone's in a good mood. So? Nothing. Just, you look good when you're giddy. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. Just a shame you didn't dress up like I asked. Really expected me to show up in a lacework collar, ruffles on my trousers? You'd even look great wearing a bustle. Dad, I want to know what that is. For now, you'll just have to survive on bread and witcher. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbutt's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbutt in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. Beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. Well? How could he? With that scrawny harlot! Come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? Hello, Vivian. No use pretending you don't know me. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive flora. Come back. What a jackass. On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners from the city walls. <laughs> Late for supper again! Ugh. My, is he ever sorted? Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Triss, not what we're here for. No, it's exactly what we're here. Well, Moritz? Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. 
You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Oh, let's look around. Novigrad, capital of the world, yet they did such rabble. Behave yourself, do what you must, but behave. Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonon just vacated this place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Let's do it. So, one more round. When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Your next opponent, Count Gomu Seeling. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimna Valley. Seems Gomo has followed in his footsteps. Yet, do not underestimate him. Desperate men can be dangerous. Let's do it. So, one more round. When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Sir Marius Florin. They say he never loses thanks to his Zugelbone amulet. Naturally, I could tell you more on the subject, but... Let's do it. Bravo! The lovely lady How clearly business? brings you luck, sir. Hold her, keep her, never let her go. Gregor, have you seen Durgoff just a moment ago? Oh, apologies, I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. General Voris. Geralt of Rivia, so oh, I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is... A beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoff, and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. Excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight. But if you trust this man... Like no one else. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the temple guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. 
Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. And then, a colossal boom! Oh! And? And? Nothing! Not I leapt out words. of the way in time, naturally, and it really call. singed my eyebrows. Alchemy can be a dangerous sport. Oh my! One needs the agility and reflexes of a panther. Rawr. What's the rock? Yes. Nice mask. Rawr. <laughs> Albert Vagobud? No. <laughs> I'm a black panther. <laughs> oh my, Count! Your excursion to Novigrad. We should talk about it. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Care to sit down for a spell? Well? Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Ah, oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How do you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. You turn him down? Is that what you think? He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. Personal charm. That's what it's about. <laughs> Careful, that sounded like a compliment. Glad it did. Oh. Are you trying to... Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, beag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. 
Sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> come on, Geralt! Triss, wait! Geralt! Coming? Careful. Miss Merigold, at last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagelwood. Please, step away, miss. The ability's not towards you, will count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. Mm, doubt it. long you're gonna make me wait. to worry everything's fine though you should probably send someone to clean up the garden before any guests wander in there and to send servants to the garden yes I shall see to it and you must hurry everything's set yes got your swords back from the guard and Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Glad I could help you collect it. You'll find a good use for it. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? I'm sorry, I acted irresponsibly. It was the wine. <laughs> Too strong. No need to apologize. It was nothing. Yes. Nothing. Miss Marigold. 
We need to go. I know. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs>